What's up guys, Zelda Inferno here, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Last time, we went on an epic egg hunt in preparation for Bunny Day, so that the abysmal zipper tea bunny would not steal our souls, and... Okay, I was trying to make it a lot... <laughs> I was trying to make it a lot more uh, epic and intense than it needed to be. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome back. I don't know what the whole soul thing really came from. I'm just putting words together, if you will. But yes, we did, in the last episode, we did go on an egg hunt in preparation for Bunny Day. It's not Bunny Day quite yet. However, we're, we're getting there, guys. And also, I am proud of myself. I am actually recording my audio my voice is actually being recorded as we speak so hopefully we don't have a repeat of yesterday's episode where i had to time travel hopefully everything is looking like it's going according to plan but i'm not gonna you know delay this intro out any further let's okay yeah literally all that's in the mail is uh a song from uh kk slider let's actually go ahead and put that in real quick but yeah, this is, uh, uh, really all that we're going to be doing this episode is pretty similar to what we've been doing the last, uh, in the last episode, uh, actually. And that's just doing the whole bunny day thing, but I don't have any songs to register. Oh, no wonder. I'm a, I'm a dunce. Gotta open it first. KK Calypso. There we go. There we go, little Eli. You're learning. Hear that. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. I think uh, I think we're done. We've done enough for one day, for one episode. Let's let's head out now, guys. Uh, after doing some extensive uh, Twitter looking throughing or whatever you want to call it, essentially after looking through Twitter, uh, people are not happy with Bunny Day. <laughs> and I at first I'm like, you know what? This seems like a really fun holiday, but I am actually starting to somewhat see why people are annoyed with it. Literally everything is turning into eggs. Literally, literally, I could not, I could barely catch any new fish uh, in the previous, or like yesterday, after I had already uploaded the last episode, I could not find for the life of me any new fish because every time I went fishing, I would just get freaking water eggs. Uh, there's also um, a new furniture set, essentially, uh, separate from the Bunny Day furniture set. Uh, which you can only get in the balloons, but most of the balloons that are appearing are the uh, Bunny Day balloons, the rainbow colored ones, and people just want the plain colored ones because there is a furniture set which I actually didn't realize existed until after I'd already uploaded the previous episode. Uh, it's called the Sakura uh, furniture set and it requires cherry blossoms to actually make uh, or to craft them. So. Uh, that is my goal, to get some of those this episode. Uh, let's see what happens, though. Another egg. <laughs> this is gonna be happening a lot. Like, yes, in the last episode, I'm just like, you know what, this seems pretty fun. Finding all these eggs, but now I'm kind of regretting my words here. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on, let's... Let's just do our, our normal routine. Also, the Able Sisters, I because of the whole time travel fiasco that happened uh, in the last episode, I I already told you guys I wasn't going to go into the Able Sisters shop or even do the ceremony until the day it was supposed to actually open, and I kept by that. So we will also be celebrating the opening of the Able Sisters shop in this episode. Uh, in fact, you know what? Well, we'll do that in a bit. We'll do that in a bit. Uh... I want to go and talk to some of my villagers, though. Hi there, Pinky. Let's talk. Of course, skies are amazing. They really make you think about how huge the galaxy is, you know? 
You mean like a Super Mario Galaxy? Okay, I will stop myself right there. Like sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night, some of the starlight we see has traveled billions of years to get here to our island. Well, that's deep. I want to make a joke about being me being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed at by nature. Well, you, you do that, Flora. You enjoy doing that? Can I catch this? Yes, I did. I am shocked because it seems like these, every time I find a cherry blossom petal, they always disappear way too quickly right after I spot them. So, yeah. Uh, we got some more of these things. Also, uh, in the last, uh, after I ended off the last episode, I did some uh, rearranging of stuff around the island. For example, I actually crafted like a, a swinging bench. Turns out I probably already have one like lying around in my storage. I don't know. I just crafted another one. Also, it seems like uh, there are some eggs and one of them got... One of them... Can I... Can I... Can I salvage it? No. No, it is dead, guys. It is dead. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. I forgot that could happen. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's let's actually head into Nook's Cranny real quick. I want to see what they have. And then we'll talk to some villagers and just do the normal routine stuff. Uh, okay. Let's see what they have, though. I really want to know how to freaking get them to upgrade. What, you, what, you, what is this? Is this like a tea set? Tea, oh, it's literally called a tea set. I'm good. And what is this? Camp stove. I feel like I'm obligated to buy it just because it's, we're on an island. I can like put it um, just out and about on the ground or something. I don't know. Make it look nice. What's, what do you got in the cabinet today? You flower wise. Nothing much, it seems. So how about wallpaper and flooring? Oh, dirt clawed wall. Black brick wall, purple camo wall, blue crown wall. I kind of like the blue crown. It's kind of majestic. It's got that majestic feeling to it. Gr giraffe print flooring? What? I monochro Monochromatic dot flooring. I kind of want to see the monochromatic just to see how monochromatic it actually is. How shiny it actually is. Okay. Thank you, Timmy and Tommy. Do I have anything to sell? Not really, actually. No, I don't. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, yes. Uh, now, I forgot, there's also another ceremony that we have to do today. And that is the bridge. If you've noticed, I actually am pretty dirt poor right now. That's because I fully funded the uh, other suspension bridge, uh, which we will go actually see in just a sec. But, uh, you know what? Let's do that now. Let's go do that right now. After talking to Mira, because, yeah, we need to talk to our villagers. Oh, hey, Contel, what brings you here? Let's chat. Some days I get myself super hyped. Same when Nintendo Directs are announced, but sadly no major Nintendo Direct. Other than a mini. That's fine. Whatever. I'll, I'll stop being besides the point. Like, just get, just ready and get, uh, just ready and ready to go. Go take a nap, Cottontail. Okay, yes, I would love to take a nap, honestly. Uh, but here we have Suspension Bridge. Yes, finally. I think we'll probably do that ceremony before doing the, um, Able Sisters ceremony. Just to get the smaller one out of the way first. So, let's go ahead and do that. Isabel's looking so cute, just dusting absolutely nothing. That, that desk looks pretty clean, Isabel. I don't know if you really need to dust it. Anyway, let's hold a ceremony. Yes, we are. For the bridge. Let's get started. Yes, indeed. Let's get started with this. Now then, okay, I'm kind of just going to skip through this one because it, we've we've already seen a ceremony for the bridge before. I will I will still be taking a picture though. Cause it's still a monumental occasion getting a new bridge freaking finally. Anything to add? Good for us. There we go. 
All right. I love how Isab 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 I forgot Isabel's actually here though. That's cool. I don't. Is this the first time she was at a ceremony? Actually, no. I don't think she. It was because. Did we get the other suspension? No, we had to have. Okay, no, so this is not the first time Isabel's been in a, a ceremony because we can't, we weren't able to build that other bridge on the other side of the island uh, until after we got uh, the resident services building and that's when Isabel shows up. So Isabel was at that ceremony as well. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a picture here. There we go. So who's our ceremony? Alright. Now, moving on, let's go and celebrate the, the opening of the Able Sister Shop, and then let's actually go inside. Let's see what clothing they have in store for us, so that, for us to buy, with what little money I actually have. Ah, uh, Eli. Hello, hello. This is the construction codes. Oh yeah, I I already know what this is. Okay. The opening of the of our tailor shop. I love how they don't re refer to it as the Able Sister. They just refer to it as the tailor shop. But yes, I am. Sh I sure am ready for the ceremony. Let's begin. All right. I love how there's like cherry blossoms, cherry blossom trees in the way. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Haven's brand new tailors. <laughs> Not tailor shop anymore. He, he, he's upgraded to saying one word of it. Whatever, I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for, thanks to everyone's tireless efforts. Haven is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. At this time, we have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you'd be so kind. Thanks to everyone. We've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll record with my sister Sable to make a, a nice place for you all to visit. So be sure to stop by. Yes. Oh, I thought that's literally all she was going to say. Uh, is dot dot dot. That's it. <laughs> yes, please stop by. Aw, Sable. I, I hope we can do what we did. We could do a new leaf where we could open her up a little bit to actually talk to us. Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions to that tailor shop. Uh, to the tailor shop that uh, could be built. I can't speak at all, guys. Uh, <laughs> anyway, take it away, Eli. Our resident representative. Anything to add? Woo! <laughs> Woo. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Eli. Everyone. Okay, yeah. I feel bad for Mira because she's being like freaking covered right now by the cherry blossom tree. Anyway, there we go. Alright, so that's that, so let's actually go and check out the Able Sisters finally, guys. I've been playing for more than a week and we haven't gotten it yet, so guys, let's check this out freaking finally, guys, finally. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovely by Claw. Oh hey, it's a great spot finder, Eli. Thanks for picking this fantastic location for us. We've decided to put down roots here on Haven and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay. Okay, so, first when you walk in, you'll find our recommended items right there, front and center. We change these up every single day, you know, so to keep things fresh. Then, over on the left, you'll find our mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change them up from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course. And if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. 
speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays you'll find our custom designs portal. You can use that kiosk in to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. So does this mean any designs that I create, even though I'm not very creative, uh, or just I could literally download instead of just, because I know they have like the QR code thing, scanning custom designs, but that's sure you can get like custom designs online, like just take random pictures. That's how I got like the Scott the Waz picture, for example, the Scott the Waz painting yeah, that's in my house currently. But like, uh... I thought that was more so for like the 3DS games, but can, we could actually get just, we can literally search through designs from all over the world. I guess we'll see for a fact. I don't know. And the last thing I want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the back side of the shop in the back. Yeah, I, was that, I feel like you've said back more than once. Whatever. This is where you can go to try on anything that's available for sale th that day, including all the color variations. Our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Okay. Yeah, okay, awesome. I think that's everything. Wow, I, I guess I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. We're open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I, ho I hope I'll be seeing you in here lots. All right. Well, let's see here. Yo, we got some, like, explorer... Explorer shit here. Huh, trekking shoes are kind of tempting. I like the Explorer T. Let's check out this fitting room. Oh, well, first, I actually want to check out the kiosk here. A world of creativity awaits via the custom designs portal. Yes, I would very much love to connect to the internet to try this out. Oh, okay, so we have to have like an ID. That's kind of, I, I thought it was just going to show like a list of things. Well, I'm not surprised they're doing the whole design ID thing, but I wish that they would show like... Uh, the recent creations from, you know, players, like what players have been playing, are creating recently. Stuff like that, if that makes any sense. But hey, it's good nonetheless that we could actually scan in or essentially, you know, take designs that people create and have them as our own, I guess. That's a weird way of putting it, but just, you know, having our own, taking designs from all over the world. I'll, I'll just stop. You guys know what I mean. Let's fit a room. All right. I will go inside. I want to see what all you guys have. Yo, okay. Let's see here. Let's change up my design a little bit, maybe. Acorn knit cap. Toga. Yes, I will wear a toga. Stash for gla stashing glasses. All right. Okay. It's weird that they're selling shoes. I would expect that to only be for kicks, but we haven't even seen kicks yet. Um, I mean, then again, I think kicks doesn't actually get his own shop in this game, as far as I can tell. Um, let's see here. I want to change up my design here, or just my my clothing a little bit. Sure, with camera, interesting. Doesn't seem like they have a whole lot, but it's still more than I thought. Baseball shirt, college cardigan. Sorry if I'm taking a while. Shirt dress. Pinafore. You know what? Maybe... I like these, like, shirt dresses. I'm, like, really into the kind of wearing these in real life. Like, just dress shirts. Even though I don't get a whole lot of opportunities to wear them, I do like them. Um... I kind of want to try it on. No, never mind. I thought I was, like... I, I, I just realized it's not a dress shirt, it's a shirt dress. So, no, I don't want that. Doesn't look very good on me. <laughs> um, 
uh, there's not really much here today that I want. However, one thing I was keeping my eye on are these like trekking shoes. But even then, they seem really like big. I'm so, guys, I apologize. I'm like insanely indecisive here. Um, I'll come back later. How about that? You know what? I'll come back later. I will do this all later. Nothing got your eye? Not currently. However, I do want to talk to Sable here. Sorry, can't talk. Anything else to add? Oh, hey, sorry about that. When Sable's really focused, she gets a little, you know, prickly. <laughs> the freaking puns. The fact that they're, uh, hedgehogs. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're hedgehogs. Okay, thanks. Please come again. I definitely will once you actually have shit that I want. No, I'm kidding. I'll come in every day, especially to talk to Sable. See if she'll open up to us more. Um, what's next? We got some more of these, uh, egg, egg thingamabobbers. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> they're just eggs. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Alright, another cherry blossom. Let's see if I can get it. No, come on. No. Yes, I got it. I'm surprised I got it. How many can you stack of these things? Um, okay, so just like a, a good majority of other items, only 10. Except I have like 11 leaf eggs, 12 wood eggs, so I guess you could stack up to maybe 30 of those because, you know, similar to like normal pieces of wood and normal materials, like iron and stone you could stack up to 30 but for like other items like for example cherry blossom petals it looks like you can only stack up to 10 which i guess makes sense i don't know why they just don't cap it off at 30 with those items as well but whatever anyway uh what is there to really do now i've kind of just been uh well i did want to go around and uh first there's a golden spot here I want to go around and try to get some of these balloon presents. Because I really want to try to get that Sakura set. I already have a few, like two or three different items from the Sakura set. However, I want more. I really want, there's like a moving wall. I have like the wood wall, but there's like a moving wall. And there's just a lot of cool stuff that we can use with our cherry blossoms for. Our, our cherry blossom petals, so. Look at extra fossil nice. And then I should also go ahead and do daily routine stuff as well. No, I don't know why I dug right there. Okay. Okay, nothing special. It's not a money rock. However, I will still take it. Will we get an egg out of it? I don't know. Yes, we did actually. And it seems like I got some Nook Miles for that as well. Oh, just hit a rock. Hit rocks. Alright, we got 200 for that. Alright, nice. What is this times 5 customized items? Okay, maybe later I will do that. Um, I also want to attempt to get some of these new fish. Because um, I haven't really done that. Because I, I kept getting uh, water eggs. So I want to see if I can get... Uh, also, I don't know why I keep going to like, the tool wheel. Also, another fossil. Nice. Uh, I don't know why I keep going to the tool wheel when I could literally just like... If I'm going to keep using the shovel, I can literally just... Since this is my, my uh, most recently used uh, tool, I can literally just do that. Also, it is 1 p.m. So yeah, we'll get some new hourly music going on. Man, it's so nice. I know I've said it enough as it is, but it's so nice to finally have the hourly music back. Especially after playing the game for a whole week and having the same song play. Um, but anyway, as I was saying though, I don't know why I keep going, like going to the shovel using the tool wheel like this. When like, if you, for your most, for your recently used, or your, um, your most recently used tool, you can literally just, press left or right on the, or you can press right on the d-pad and it'll go to that so if that makes any sense for you guys but i don't know just a weird thing anyway 
Moving on. I do want to get out my fishing rod, though. I want to see if we can get any of these new fish. That looks so, like a pretty big fish. It's probably just a sea bass, though. Why? You gotta be so freaking precise with this. It's my one I don't, downside when it comes to fishing in this game. I don't remember being that precise. You having to be that precise in New Leaf. Anyway, just a sea bass. I figured. <laughs> no wait, it's at least a C plus. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I swear, this is gonna be another sea bass, isn't it? It's more than likely gonna be another sea bass. It's a sea bass, guys. Oh no, it's a, it's a, I almost called it a dab. No, it's an all founder. Um. I have not, I have surprisingly, also, this is adorable. What's up, Eli? I'm gonna chat. I'm just out here enjoying the cool breezes of Haven. All right, that's adorable though, him singing. Anyway, as I was saying though, I am surprised I've not seen any balloon presents yet. I know that there was a glitch that uh, was occurring or happening for players where after reaching the last milestone when hitting balloons uh, in this game, in New Horizons, after uh, getting the last Nook Miles achievement, uh, apparently balloons would actually stop spawning at all, or in general, they would just stop spawning. However, Nintendo did just release an update that, and I really hope that actually patched it out of the game. I need to, I haven't read the patch notes, at least not yet, uh, but I do want to check to see, because I doubt, I honestly doubt that I got all the achievements for, uh, popping balloons. Especially since, you know, I played the game literally yesterday without getting any achievements for popping balloons and still balloons were and balloons were still spawning so see look uh where is it where are you popping popping it's raining treasure i think is what it is yeah yeah i only have uh two of those completed so um but yeah I'm really surprised I haven't seen any so far. Wait, who are you? <gasps> Yo, what? Is that how I think it is? That's CJ. Yo, what is he doing here? Yo, okay then. Oh, and there is a balloon right there in the background. But it's a freaking bunny day one. Maybe we'll get a DORS to be added, but... It out of it but I kind of doubt it anyway what 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 up fishinista CJ here coming at you live from uh right in front of you nook <laughs> I'm touring the islands looking for fresh faces and fresher fish to show off to on my life this dude is a live streamer on my live stream yo what I love this dude already fishing is really in all kinds of streaming numbers right now heard of eSports heard of esports well this is c sports oh my god i love this dude you know what i need to take guys i need to freaking take a picture of that i need to absolutely take a picture of that that this is literally amazing anyway oh my god dude <laughs> i need new fish if i want to keep my followers following that's where you come in if you got fish to sell, then I want to buy. Simple as that. I'll even pay premium, Nick. So you cash out. I get new selfies for my fit for my blog, and my viewers get to hear me me talk fish. Everyone wins. So how about a challenge, C sports style? Right now, win and I'll make it ring, and tap you up on my stream. Okay, then am I gonna be on this dude's stream? Am I gonna am I gonna be able to self promote myself? What? <laughs> Plus my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want one. Uh, he's so talented, Nick Nick. Now there's actually a lot of controversy with this line right here. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm just saying that uh, 
partner could literally mean anything, people are taking it as that he has a boyfriend. <laughs> partner could literally mean anything. If, for all we know, he could literally mean Chip, who used to run the fishing tourneys, and this is assuming, like, this is his, like, son or grandson or nephew or whatever. Anyway, partner could mean a lot more than just, you know, significant other boyfriend. Anyway, moving on. I did side rent right there. And I wouldn't be against it. God, no. Like, for all, I would not be against that. Honestly. Equality for the win. But people are taking this line too far. And I don't like talking a whole lot of drama and controversy. Well, not drama, but I don't like talking about this stuff, but I needed it needed to be said. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Sea sports challenges. <laughs> I want to see those fishing skills, and I just know my viewers do too. Here's how it'll go: I'll tell you what fish to catch, and you get to, and you get fishing. But hook is, but the hook is that it switches up each time. Got to keep them guessing. Plus, I can't afford another cheating scandal. Oof. All right, that's the dealio. Are you ready for some sea sports action? Cause it's challenge time. Today, I want to showcase a small fry. So barrel eye ish. In size, think you can catch in a row. Okay. If you wow my viewers, I'll wow you with some serious bells. I'll buy those fish off you like that. Let's do this. You got it, chum. Time to dive in and school this challenge. Okay. Okay. Reel in three in a row, all three barrel eye ish or so in size. So I have to catch like a barrel eye fish or what? I don't know. As long as it's small, it'll count. If you spot a crawfish or a frog out there, bring it aboard. I don't think frogs are available this time of year. I could be wrong. Maybe they appear in April, but either way. Anyway, and don't go catching other sized fish or my subscribers will get mad. And there goes your streak. So, is it like I have to catch fish three in a row of the same exact size? Is that what he's saying? Oh, and don't let him slip off your hook either. That'll cut your streak too. Sorry, chat request. <laughs> I know, I know. So many rules, but I gotta keep folks happy for my views before or my or my views drop. He's not wrong there. <laughs> now go catch up. Okay. So, what if I give him what I have right now? Oh, so, okay, no, literally, I can't give him what I have in my inventory. Oh, no, he wants small fry. I thought it meant, like, three, because he said barrel eye fish, but I don't know how big a barrel eye fish he even is. Like, barrel sounds like it's something huge, but I don't think that's what he's referring to. Anyway, I'm confused, but let's, uh, let's go attempt this, I guess. Uh, at least we have some more stuff to actually do this episode. Which is nice. There's something right there. He, he wanted something smallish, like a small fry. Come on. There we go. Yo, what is this? Oh, it's a pale chip. I thought I it was a new fish I hadn't caught yet. Okay, number one on your small fry catching streak. Keep it up and go for three in a row. All right. Oh, no, I just scared it off. Does that count as ruining it? I don't think it does because I didn't actually throw my fishing rod out. I didn't, like, throw my line. So I don't think that counts. I will catch this, though, before it disappears. Because I really want to get these, uh... These Sakura items. These Sakura, these Sakura furniture items. And I still haven't got the money rock either, but... Anyway. Uh, you got a flea here. <laughs> Alright, I got a flea. The curse is lifted! Yes! Yuck, fleas! I wonder why I've been so itchy lately. I haven't been that itchy since the last time I had... I always said the last time I had fleas. That's hilarious. Because I've never had fleas, Eli. Not even this time. So, that was not a flea then? You, you just said I've never had fleas, not even this time. That implies that even though I caught a flea that was on you, 
we still never have had fleas. And that, so that implies that wasn't a flea. I'm confused. What even? Okay, I'm gonna stop before I confuse myself even further. Um, let's try to find some more of these fishies. Another balloon present. I would like to see it. No, it is just a uh, bunny day one. However, I will still pop it. No, I missed it. Oh no, it's a DIY recipe. All right, nice. Okay, I will happily take it. What is it? Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was the arch, but no, it's a wreath. You know what? That's fine. I will learn it, and then I will put it up on my door. I've actually never, uh, put a wreath on my door as of right now, so, you know what? I think that will be a good opportunity to do that. Uh, however, there is... Oh, I didn't mean to run over my flowers there. However, I... I luckily, I didn't trample any. Uh... Oh, no, I can't do that. I can't do it like that. Let, I have to go over here. Come on. No. It disappeared. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll craft that wreath later on in the episode. I really want to just focus on trying to catch some tiny fish. I'm sure I could also do the, that at, like, C as well. Also, I've noticed that I have another fishing or net uh, in my inventory. I've noticed I have another net. Why do I have another net? I probably crafted one earlier. Like yesterday maybe? I don't know. Anyway. I don't know if this would count. That fish because it's still... You know what? If it breaks my streak, so be it. I'll just try again, but let's go for it. It's still pretty small. Oh, okay. Cube it up. Oh, and also scaring off that other fish didn't count, I guess, because I had not actually throw. I did not throw my line yet, uh, out yet. Okay, hi, Flora. Flora's gonna catch a bug here, a butterfly. Don't you, don't you dare hit me, Flora. A bluegill, I think, yes. That's small nine, that's small fry number three, which means you just completed the challenge. Go tell CJ, also Flora, I'm so tempted to hit you with my net right now because you did not clap for me. Whatever. Also, we got some nook moths, but real quick, I'll take care of those in just a bit because there's a normal present floating, and I want to see if it's a Sakurai. I oh, I literally just said Sakurai. A Sakura item. I'm going to smash those mood right now. Not really, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Moving on. Let's pop this. See what it is. It's probably just some random item, but also we got some more nook moths as well. We got... 300 for catching fish and it seems like we got some neck balls maybe for popping a balloon yes dream treasure we caught or we uh, popped not caught we popped 50 balloons thus far giving us 1,000 miles that's pretty nice uh, let's oh another cherry blossom I'm trying to get as many of these as I can also I don't think I opened up that present yet I should probably go do that <laughs> I'm getting so sidetracked it's insane uh, what do we got here just freaking clay okay whatever I, I hear another balloon though it is a bunny day one what are you 
Ah, uh, it's just a freaking sky egg. Okay. Oh, I thought... <laughs> for a second, I thought my, uh... Slingshot was about to break, but no. If I make good use of the egg's pattering... Oh, I... Okay, yeah. So... Some more... DIY recipes. And it seems like we got... Some more Nick Miles as well. Have a nice DIY. Okay. All right, nice. Another 1,000 miles. Another 1,000 Nick Miles. That's pretty nice. Um, I guess let's go uh, talk to CJ. And let him know. There's also, uh, it seems to be another small fry, but I don't think it really matters as of right now. Because, uh, I'll, I'll also dig these up in just a bit. Uh, I don't think it really matters right now because we've already collected all, all the three that we needed. No, come on. Yes. Oh, I, it actually did not disappear. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. What's up? What a fashionista. Yes. Way to fish. Photo up. Yo, this dude is insane! Way to wreck that sea sports challenge. What a haul. Hey, you want to sell any of those fish? You know what? Yes. None of them are new, so I'll sell them. Oh, we can sell more than just what we caught for the challenge. Okay. Maybe he'll... He said he'll, uh... He'll pay premium, so I wonder if maybe he'll pay more than, uh... He, then, like, Nook's Cranny would pay. Anyway. $2,090. That's not bad, but I feel like that's not really that premium, if you know what I mean. It's whatever, though. Splash, make my viewers happy! Okay. That's awesome. Are we able to participate in more of them? Okay, so he could just buy a fi fish and uh, whatnot, but what aren't these? Aren't there collectibles? Ha! Huh, knew that. Okay. In order for a collectible, okay. Yeah, you put in an order for a collectible. It costs you a super realistic model of your favorite fish. My partner's a total artist. Okay, and I can guarantee these models will make your neighbors jealous. Is it just fish that I have with me, or can I just choose any fish that I've caught? Please, I would love to get a colacanth model. <laughs> or just some model of a rare fish that I've caught, but anyway. Usually he's all about models of bugs and stuff, but when he's got a fish to work from, his work is amazing. Just bring me three of the, three of the same kind of fish, and I'll get it going for you. All for the low, low price and none. Okay. Wait, say that again? That's, that was one of the options. So I guess we have to, like, give him three of a specific kind of fish. And that fish that, and the fish that we give him will determine what our, uh, what the collectible will be. Or, like, what the figure or statue or whatever. I don't know. I'm rambling here. Got another earth egg. And another earth egg. And it's probably another earth egg. Yes, it is another earth egg. <laughs> Very much so. There are some weeds up there. I might pluck those later. Or I will pluck those later, but anyway. Another earth egg. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So another DIY recipe. If I combine the ideas behind the eggshell recipes I've learned so far, I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Okay, then. Interesting. There, there's quite a few weeds around here. Maybe that this probably result in me time traveling, but it's whatever. Anyway, uh, moving onward. Let's also Sky. It seems like I never really talk to you that often. That's probably due to the fact that you're always stuck up there because I need to. I need to honestly build an incline over here. Chat with me. Okay. Anyway. 
Oh, I did not mean to do that. What next is there to do? Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I know exactly what I can do here in this episode. Oh, real quick, though, I'm going to try to catch this. Cherry Blossom Petal. There we go. Compared to yesterday's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons, I'm... And my net broke. Which actually doesn't really matter because I do have a spare net. Maybe that's why I crafted another net. I don't remember, but anyway. Let's just move that over here and favorite you. There we go. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Uh, I was going to go do something, though. Oh yeah, maybe, oh, maybe I was like mentioning how I'm like totally not just like dragging out this episode to make it past the hour mark. <laughs> That's totally not what I'm doing here, but anyway, I really, okay, this is probably a water egg, not gonna lie, but I really want to get some of these new fish. There's also a dragonfly right there. Because I know for a fact there's there are new fish in the month of April. It's just a water egg. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> what? I hear another uh, balloon present, though. There's also a... Can I, am I able to catch this? Maybe? Yes, I did. Nice. Alright, nice. Okay, let's see here, though. I heard a balloon present. What is it, though? Is this maybe an actual fossil for once? Yes, it is. Yay. All right. Nice. I need to go... I was going to say donate these, but I don't even know if I can donate these. I need to assess them first. Which I will go do that. I still haven't gotten the money rock. We're literally... I'm literally almost an hour into this episode. And, like, we kept doing so much stuff that I got... Kept being sidetracked. Um... <laughs> I honestly thought most of this episode would just be kind of going around doing egg hunting, which I guess some of it was, but not as much as I thought it would be, which is good. I kind of like how we're kind of, where I'm not just doing the egg hunting. I don't want to do that for the next 12 days in each ep, like, I don't want to literally, literally just do that in every episode for the next 12 days. Like, I don't want to do that. This is probably going to be a black bass. Or a water egg, but... Uh, I, I think that balloon present that I heard just a bit ago is no longer here, but... I don't know. It's, I, I think it went away, but... It's whatever. Yep, it's just a black bass. Okay. However... I know, I'm catching so much of these. But, but, yeah, I... Um, oh wait, I think I remember what I was going to say. I don't remember if I said it already. Maybe that's what I forgot I was going to say. Or maybe that's the thing I, for I forgot to say. Or that I was, that I forgot that I was going to say. Whatever. I'm rambling on here. Uh, but no, like, compared to yesterday's episode, I'm doing so much better when it comes to catching these uh, cherry blossom petals. <laughs> I ramble on so much and repeat myself. I apologize, guys. Um... Real quick, I do, do want to go ahead and actually try to get the money rock, at the very least. Nope. <laughs> we got, we're getting uh, quite a bit of iron, though, which is good. Five? Okay, no. I was hoping that it would all be iron. That would be pretty cool if that were the case, but sadly, no. We did get three, uh, stone eggs, though. Which I guess is okay. <laughs> um. Anyway. Do you guys like these types of episodes? Uh, I'm trying to make this whole thing, like, un- I don't want to really do that many cuts in this episode. Also, what are you thinking about, Mira? Mira? I got a bunny dress I really didn't need. Okay, then. <laughs> Prank Flora with it? What? Can I prank Flora with it?
I heard Tank is feeling really grody. Wait. I thought they. I thought you wanted to. You pr I, I wanted to prank you though. I wanted to prank you. Oh, it's actually a bunny. I thought that was just the name of it because it looked kind of fluffy. But no, there's an actual freaking bunny tail on it. Interesting. Um, wrong thing. Go open up your inventory, sir. Little Eli. Um, I did get some Nicka Miles. Probably for chatting with villagers. Yeah. Um, 200. All right, nice. Now, it, apparently Tink is not doing very good right now. Uh, so I guess I was actually already gonna go say hi to him. Not that. Not your net. Not uh, your shovel. Your net. I was actually already gonna go say hi to him. But is he really feeling upset? Like, what? Will this be the first time we see an upset villager? What? For real? I don't know. Aww! You came- is he sick? You came by to check on me, Eli? Thanks. But I'm sure I can beat this thing by doing a hundred steps- No! Oh my god, he, he's got- he sneezed on me, guys! You gotta learn to self-isolate. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, you gotta self- you gotta social distance yourself, guys. Uh, anyway, I'll stop. Uh, but I'm- okay. But I'm sure I can beat this thing by doing a hundred sit-ups. Uh, chew. Okay, Kerpal, maybe not. I am going to be a good neighbor and actually uh, get you some medicine. Now, I really don't want to go around shaking uh, trees until I get a, a wasp's nest so that I can use that to craft medicine. So I think what I'm going to do is just buy some. I'll be a good friend and buy some for Tank. Anyway, oh yeah, it's right here. Of course. Just one. I only need the one. Unless I end up getting stung by a bee, but I don't really plan on shaking trees in this episode. Unless I break a tool that I need to shake a tree to get uh, tree branches from so that I can craft a new one. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. Let's go and give this the tank. But no, anyway, I was, I was talking, I was mentioning earlier and I'm getting sidetracked again because of all these godforsaken cherry blossoms. I honestly kind of prefer the cherry blossoms to the eggs. Well, I would say that, but I do like the cherry blossoms because it can help us craft the Sakura set. The Sakura set. I keep wanting to say Sakura, but no, uh, the Sakura set, which is like a Japanese themed set, of course. It's literally in the name, Sakura. But anyway, uh, do you guys like these types of uncut episodes? I hope you do. For the most part, sure, I like to edit things a lot, but still. Um, yo, Tank. Here, here, my dude, my head hurts and I've got chills like I just ran a marathon in a blizzard. What's happening to me? Need some medicine. Are you sure? Wow, you're a true bud. I can totally count on you. Medicine. Alright. Who, I'm practically back to my legendary old chef self. Thanks to you, I feel much better now. You're a true hero. Oh yeah, this is for you. It's just a business suit coat. Just to say thanks. Okay then. Wait, is he already better? Because I know sometimes it takes even app. Okay. Yo, alright. Nice. With one visit, he's already better. Thanks for the medicine you got me. I'm feeling pumped again. You're... F okay. Also, I noticed just now that I'm not wearing pants. I'll fix that in just a sec. However, uh, actually, no, I'll do that right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that right now, guys. <laughs> um, but no, like, for real. That's cool that he's feeling a lot better already. I'm gonna get back to training, Kerpow. Because I know that sometimes, even after giving villagers medicine, there's, they'll still be sick for, like, another day or two. Or maybe just for the rest of the day, I don't know. But sometimes they're still sick after you give them medicine. It does it does still help them though. I think it helps, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it actually helps for them to uh, 
get better quicker than normal. Either way, uh, I still need to go around and uh, try to get the money rock here. Well, actually, I, I feel like that hole was actually fine, right? Where it was. Yeah, it was. It's fine, though. Ah, oh, it's just another ore rock. A nugget rock. We're getting quite a bit of iron, though, which is nice. You can never have enough iron nuggets in this game. But we did get two stone eggs as well, and two uh, pieces of stone alongside that, so... Which is good. Alright. Um, what next? Um, oh yeah. Money Rock. That is my number one goal. I feel like there's only like two, maybe three more rocks on the island. Did I already... I hit that one. I don't think I hit this one. I could be wrong, but I'm going to give it a shot just... In case, and I'm still going to dig the holes just in case. Because I don't want to just hit it to test if I've already done this rock. Because if I haven't, then I'll bounce off of it, missing out on some of the items, if that makes any sense. But nope, it's just another ore rock, or whatever you want to call it. Three eggs, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to get a lot of these eggs. I'm sure I have way more than I need at this point to craft all the... Uh, Bunny Day furniture items, but I guess you, you never know. Um, is three the most amount of eggs that you're able to get out of a single rock? I could be wrong, but I think it might be. But hey, I mean, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. Maybe there, uh, you can get three or more out of it. Anyway, uh, I have like two more rocks on my island, so these are like our last, my last chance to uh, getting the money rock here. Again, I don't know why I kept... Literally, the last tool I used was my shovel. I don't know why I just... I don't just do that. Whatever. I predict that this is the money rock. And it's not. My prediction was very off. Oh, I was gonna say, I'd be surprised if we didn't get an egg out of it. I mean, it's happened to me before, so... I'm sure it could happen again, not getting an egg out of a, uh, a rock. A stone egg, that is. Alright. Pick up these weeds here. Oh, there's two. I doubt we'll be able to get both, but... Or maybe? I actually got both at the... Right... Well, not at the same time, but right after one another. That's awesome. Also, I just passed the rock that I was going to. I mean, there was a stone there, which makes me worry that this is actually not a money rock. But I guess I'll find out. I guess we'll find out, guys. Oh, okay, it was the money rock. I mean, I kind of figured, because it's like the last rock on my island, but I thought... If... I thought that if there was a stone next to the rock, that kind of confirms it was just... That you'll only get, like, stone and iron out of it. I guess, I guess that's not true. Either way, uh... That's pretty nice. Anyway. Moving on. Um wait, what? What do you what do you have to say? What now? Okay. Eli, how long have you been here? Guess I was sort of spaced out. I've been daydreaming lately about starting a new life on another island. What? Yo, already? Already?
This is weird. This is the first time I've ever had a, uh, a villager say that they want to move. To be fair, I've, I, I'm kind of to blame for it. And I was literally saying that I'm going to build an incline over here. Um, guys, this is weird. I'm not edit cutting any of this out. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I haven't been paying her nearly as much attention as the other villagers on the island. Mostly because I kind of realize I'm not the biggest fan of her. Like, not even just design-wise, just... In general, really, but I do I do like her, just not as much as some uh, other villagers. But you know what? <sighs> Listen to your heart. Thanks for giving me the gentle push I needed, Eli. It'll make me sad to move away from you, but, but I'll be taking a step forward in a new direction. So soon after, as well. I'm, I wonder if maybe it'll be like just previous Animal Crossing games where you could talk them out of moving uh, later on. Um, it's it's weird though. They usually, I remember New Leaf, they would give you like a specific date of when they planned on moving. Um, I am still going to build an incline over there though. In fact, wait, real quick, what are you? And it's just a frickin' sky egg. I almost called it a, wa called it a water egg, but now it's just another frickin' sky egg. Anyway, um, I did, what, one thing I did want to do in this episode. Well, first, let's actually, uh, start putting together an incline. I think that's the smart thing to do. Alright. I will go with another stone staircase. Yes, please. Alright, I will go do that, but there's also another thing that I wanted to do in terms of, you know, res at resident services. Uh... There is another thing that I wanted to do, which I will do that in just a bit, but first, let's go and place down where I want this incline. Maybe right here? Or, actually, first. Maybe, like, let's see what it would look like straight from, say, right here. Not even a stretch of... Well, okay, then. What the heck? Does it have to be like a flat surface? Or like a flat wall or whatever? I guess it does. I like that. It'll work. All right, nice. Now, moving on. A part of me kind of wonders if maybe, just like New Leaf, your villagers can still visit your island. Like in New Leaf, they would, uh, your old villagers who moved away can still visit Main Street. 
but Main Street's not in this game, so maybe they'll still visit your island, or maybe you can still see them on mystery tours? I don't know. I kind of hope, but... Anyway, oh, well, I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's head in over into uh, Resident Services, because I wanted to uh, mention, some, mention something to you guys. So, uh, last night I was playing the game, and Tom Nook brought up the fact that when, when I was going to the ABD... Or not the, just the ABD, but I, when I was going to the when I was going to the Nook terminal, I was gonna be I was actually uh, gonna redeem some Nook miles for something. Um, anyway, he mentioned how I can actually use Amiibo to invite villagers to the campsite, which I already knew that you could do this, but I didn't know how you when you'd be able to unlock it. But Tom Nook literally brought it up to me yesterday. And so I think I am actually going to invite Prince to uh, the campsite. Guys, this is Prince. I'd like you guys to uh, be introduced to him. It's a little hard to see him because uh, uh, he's, he's green. So the green screen is kind of, kind of uh, be weird with him. Uh, he might look a little. He might look a little funny, uh, but yeah. Some people think he's ugly. I think he's adorable, and I love his personality type. I love like the kind of lazy villagers, or like certain lazy villagers I, I like more than others. But I do like Prince. I like his personality, and I just like his character design overall. And, and he was literally like my best friend in Animal Crossing New Leaf. In fact, I'm sure. Hopefully, he didn't move away from my town in New Leaf. But he, at least at the time of recording this, I'm pretty sure he's still in my town. But I want him to move onto my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You know, it'd be kind of funny if I scanned in the amiibo card and had Prince move onto my island in New Horizons. And then I, next time I, I actually decide to play uh, New Leaf, he moved away. It would be kind of like he moved away from my town in New Leaf to move onto my island in New Horizons, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I'm not going to delay this out any further. Uh, let's actually head to the Nurk Terminal here. Of course, we get our bonus miles. Invite an amiibo camper. Invite camper. With this option, you can invite animals to the campsite using an Animal Crossing character's amiibo. Do you want to use an amiibo to invite an animal to the campsite? Yes, I do. Please prepare the amiibo for the animal you want to invite to the campsite. Now, when I went to Harv's Island and tried scanning in uh, my Prince Amiibo card, it wouldn't work at first because, maybe it's because of the uh, protective thing that's over it, like the protective uh, cover. However, also, let's try that again. I'm, I'm, I'm rambling on too long. I'm rambling on too long. Uh, but I think I actually have to uh, take him out of the cover here. So, um, let's go ahead and scan him. Come on. Failed to read Amiibo? No, I did not mean to do that. Uh, let's try this again. My camper. Yes, I do. Alright, let's see here. Wait, did I get it? That's Prince's Amiibo! Would you like to invite him to the campsite? You bet your ass I would. Is he here? <gasps> Yay! Hi, it's Prince. What's up? Hi, by the way, I was so excited when I answered... I, for I forget if I said it. Okay. <laughs> I know lots of ways to say hi, so you called the right guy for greetings. Let's see. Hola, salute, ciao, and Ninhao, Alhan, Guten Tag, Anyang, Konnichiwa, Zedvardesit, Saluten, Namaste, Shikamu, and um, hi. I, I, I know for a fact I butchered some of those. At least a few of those. I don't know. Anyway, so what's your deal? Did you just call to, say, uh, to get said hello to, or is there something else? You're inviting me to go camping? 
On your island? That sounds real fun. Yay. So does this mean he's here? I guess I'm about to go find out. Oh my god, guys. Yo. God. Yo, he's here! Okay. He's here. Hi, Prince. I'm here to hang out. Thanks for the invite, Burrup. I try real hard to make sure I don't forget anything when I go camping. I've got my tent, jammies. Oh, it's so adorable. Pillow. <laughs> Blanky and my stuffed best friend, Bugface, for cuddling. I got my potato chips, tomato chips, pickle chips, shrimp chips, chocolate chips, spicy chips. Ooh, he, he likes the spicy stuff as well. I got everything I need to be comfy except for my TV. Well, if you move here, you'll get a TV. Hopefully. I'll, I'll send you one as a gift. No, <laughs> anyway. I forgot my TV. Oh man, I can't breathe. Oh man, oh my god, yes. He's so adorable. Man, I want to maybe see a, cr a clacker cart made by the folks here. What's a clacker cart? Let's make it happen. Is it a DIY recipe? I assume so, but anyway. You think you can do it? Really? Yay, this is so cool. I'll give it to you then. A recipe for a clacker cart. He's even got a lollipop. Anyway, today's the only day that I'm here. I'm going home tomorrow, so the sooner the better. Unless... Going well. Anything else? Come on. Just talk to me, Prince. Man, isn't this tent great? It's a real easy one to. Okay, yeah. Just move here, please. The hard part is when I go home. Yeah, stop saying that you're going. This is your home. Stop saying that you're gonna go home. This is your home. I don't think I can do it alone. Come on, no. Okay, you know what? Maybe we have to go make a clacker cart. What What even is a clacker cart? I guess I'll go find out what a clacker cart is. I just want this dude in my town. Or on my island, in this case. I, I want this dude on my island. I'm going to make it happen before the end of this episode. I that is my goal. This is already this episode's already over an hour long. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I want to, I want Prince in on my island. What even is a first of all, let me check. What even is a clacker cart? Sort order obtained. What even is a clacker cart? Where where was it? He said he gave me a recipe. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't even learn it yet. Okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay, huh? Okay. I'm like so. Okay, no. I really just. What do you need for a clacker? Oh, just wood. Okay. Uh, two pieces of hardwood, six pieces of softwood. I probably have that in storage. Let me go check, actually. I'm not even gonna go around just chopping wood, especially because I don't want my, uh,. I don't want to have to craft another axe because I'm sure mine will be breaking soon, probably. I don't know, but I don't want to risk it. Anyway. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Just move to pockets. Come on. Move to pockets. And then I'm heading out. <laughs> All right. Oh, wrong. Wrong way, come on. Yes. I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. Get it done, get it uh, crafted quickly. Get it made quickly, and now I'm heading all the way back. I wish I could fast travel over to the freaking tent so I could speed this up. Okay, I'm now honestly just being really pathetic when it comes to this whole thing. I apologize, guys. I just really love Prince. 
as a character in uh, Animal Crossing. I believe Prince has actually been here. He, like, I believe Prince has actually been in the series since the very first game. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, actually. So it would have been an actual shame if they removed him from Animal Crossing New Horizons, which I'm so glad they didn't. But anyway, you know it. Want to hear a story? I'll tell you a story. The story goes like this. One day, someone from Haven thought Clacker Cart. Then they ran to a DIY bench and made their thought into a thing. I don't know if that story is true, but man, it's inspiring. Okay, steampunk glasses, interesting. I don't know if I'll wear them, but maybe. Come on, no. You know you want to. You know you want to. <gasps> yes, come on. Your island's cozy. Everybody's nice. They smell good. They smell good. Okay then. And they feed me stuff. They feed. Who? Who on my? I, who on Haven? Who in Haven is feeding you stuff? Anyway, man, I wish I could. I. I. Man, I could stay here forever. Why not live here? Uh huh. huh, huh that sounds cool. Invite me again sometime. No. 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 You are moving here today. Well, not today, but you are going to make that decision today. I'm literally going to talk to you and tell you that's all you're going to say? Is this, is this really how it's going to go? Do I have to keep inviting him? Okay, yeah, good. Man, isn't this tent great? Okay. Come on, say something! Yeah, you already told me that. Come on. Yeah, I know, you've said that like 50 times. I, I, I might have to cut this all out, guys, until he finally uh, agrees to uh, move here. Alright, I think, uh, I think that's enough, honestly. Maybe you, maybe you have to do it over a few, several, a, a few different, like, times over the next few days but I but I promise Prince is going to move to Haven that is a guarantee anyway uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons I don't I can't really think of anything else for us to do we're already <laughs> over an hour into this episode but actually real quick one last thing I want to go ahead and craft that wreath go ahead and do that where is it oh it's right here all right speed that up a little bit and there we go I'm all done for now all right nice anyway uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, next time, I'm trying to think of what, what's going on next time. I really don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Animal Crossing is uh, pretty unpredictable when it comes to what you're gonna be doing that day. Like, I did not intend on meeting CJ uh, today. I didn't really intend on a few different things happening today. But they happen nonetheless. Animal Crossing is very unpredictable, which I guess is a good thing. I do like that, actually. Anyway, with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching this episode. Until next time, guys, I've been Zelda Inferno, and I'll see you later. Bye.